Welcome back to Btide and let's get this started setting up multiplayer with Steam integration kit. This video will work for both the marketplace and the GitHub versions of the plugin. So I, I'm just going to pretty quickly create a main menu which it will which will just have a single button that will basically serve the purpose of finding the match for us. Now this is this is going to be a listen server tutorial and the next one we will cover the dedicated server tutorial so let me just quickly create a dedicated oh sorry a listen server button so that i can do it i will just get the player controller and i will set the input mode to ui only so that i can interact with the ui pretty easily yeah and remove this extra function yeah and i will just put it uh, on the lower end of the corner so it looks uh, looks good right now let's come to the main part uh, the first thing that we need to do to find a session is basically find a SIK session. Uh, this node is used for finding both the Steam, Steam uh, listen servers and Steam dedicated servers. Now just plug it in. We don't need to modify any of the things but if you want to find maybe by session settings or you want to modify what type of session you are trying, you can do it on the node itself. But as of now, we just need to find the dedicated, oh, sorry, the listen server session that we are going to make. And uh, if you want, you can set in the different parameters that we have, but we don't need to do that now. So when we run this, we will check if the first session result is valid or not. So we'll check if it is valid. If the result is valid, then we will just join the session. Before that, let's call join SIK session. Yeah, this one and for this we need to plug it plug uh, it to the first session that we find so get the first session and plug it in the session to join now basically the second thing that we need to do is we need to create a session if none uh, if no session exists so we will call create listen server session the words are named differently than eik if you know know if you you have if you have used eik then the words are different so we will just create a listen server session and we will set the number of people to maybe 10 or 5 or whatever works for you and i will also enable the private number so we can invite our friends later so i will just make it 2 3 and whatever the value is rest i will leave it to be default if you want you can modify the, the settings also now when you open up a server server session uh, that is a listen server type you have to travel to that level as a listen server so this opens up the opportunity for the other players to join your listen server. So you need to execute a console command. You can also use an open level node with a question mark listen or argument, but I usually prefer using the console command. So server travel and the level name is third person map question mark listen. So this will uh, enable the P2P connections and now you should be able to join it. Now, the second thing is uh, you get the lobby ID when you create a session so you can play with it and you get you can modify the already created session. You can basically do it. And if the session was already created before and you did not store the lobby ID, you can get all the lobby IDs from this. So this will return you a array which uh, basically contains the session name. Let me show you Yeah, session name and lobby ID. This session name is basically the one that you pass here. So this lobby ID can be used to modify the session properties, may basically manage the lobby from the Steam SDK side. That is it. Uh, let's quickly go back and create a new level. Let's name this main menu level or something like that, whatever works for you. Open it up and in the level blueprint, we will just create the widget. And this will be the main menu widget which we created before and add it to viewport. Now uh, let's go to our third person map and here in the player control, uh, player character we need to make a branch. Oh sorry, sequence. We need to make a sequence and um, on sequence one we just need to make sure the input mode is set to game only. This is because you know uh, on the playfab tutorials we received a lot of requests why the player is not able to move and things like that. And I realized sometimes you need to show these things. So uh, you have to set the input mode to game only. So you are able to control the game character. Let's save all. And now you can start packaging the game server. If you uh, like the client, because you need to test it on two different maps, uh, two different PCs. Now, the thing is, 
uh, you if you are using the marketplace you can just deploy it directly but i am not going to make basically my devices are connected through ethernet or whatever i like should i should say so that code is already present on both so i just started the project and it says uh, yeah okay so the login was successful right now i will press start matchmaking i am in the server now let me press on the second device also one sec yeah i pressed it seems to be loading give me a second you see my second id came online on the bottom left side right side and the player should be here oh yeah nice so uh, let me move it on the second device and yeah you can see this so this is working now in some cases you may see that your code is not working well basically when you join you get a timed out event in that case you can join the discord server and create a support request and we can help you out but mostly it's about the net drivers just make sure your net driver matches what whatever is given on the website because a lot of times you have duplicate net driver settings maybe you are trying to use eos and steam together and you created a steam session and trying to use net drivers from eos and things like that just make sure that you are using the correct net drivers that you want to use that is it for this tutorial let's meet in the next one where we will start working on the dedicated servers we are also going to cover the friends section and everything in the upcoming tutorials don't worry about that meet you in the next one